In this video, we're going to begin to march our way across the toolbar at the top of the Unity interface, starting with the transform tools that are grouped together in this uh, little four-button conglomeration in the upper left-hand corner of the interface. Now, the first one of these tools is the hand tool. And this is actually kind of like another way to navigate the viewport more than it is a way to transform any of the objects in your scene. It's uh, especially useful if you're using a one-button mouse, uh, though admittedly, I don't use it that often. But while you have it active, if you click and drag with the mouse, you can pan the view. If you click with the right mouse button, you can rotate the view. And if you scroll with the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. So you still kind of have access to all of your uh, various navigation systems here inside of, uh, of the viewport using the hand tool. It's, it's also kind of a way to keep you from accidentally selecting things when you don't want people to. Like, before you hand control of your Unity off to somebody else who's going to look at something in your scene, you might want to hit this so that they don't accidentally nudge something. Now, this is uh, accessible through hitting the Q key if you don't want to reach all the way up here to the uh, toolbar to click on that. Now, the next tool over is our Move tool. Now, I'm going to take us right back down to our campsite. And I'm going to click on this little bench that's hiding over here. So let's grab the Move tool, which is analogous to the uh, W key. If you don't want to click on something in the toolbar, you can hit W. And then we can click on this bench, and you can see we get a little tiny Move gizmo. It has three axes, so we can move in X, Y, and Z. And we can also move by the center of the gizmo as well. So again, it's just a quick way to move objects around in our scene. Next to this, we have the Rotate tool, which we can access by hitting E, again, if we don't want to go all the way up to the toolbar. And this allows us, as you might have guessed, to rotate objects around. And there's some free rotation, which isn't going to help us too much, so I'll undo that. We can rotate on individual axes, as you see here. We can rotate around in Y if we want to put the bench a little closer to the tent, that sort of thing. And we have the Scale tool, which is going to be the, the same thing as tapping the R key, but we can click on it here. And we have a scale gizmo for scaling up in individual axes or scaling up and down uniformly. So that is a quick look at the transformation tools, which are located here across the top of the toolbar. And that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.